What up, no YouTube fam? It's your boy Pain82. Like with another video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up for your boy, leave your comments below, and if y'all appreciate the content that I'm bringing y'all, yes, your eyes are not mistaking you. It's a pair of top 10 Adidas right here that I just picked up today. Because I did tell y'all I'm finna start branching out a little bit. Not too much. I ain't finna go too brazy with the different brands. But this is my second pair of Adidas. I'm looking to add one more. The, uh, the OG colorway of the top 10s. But enough of all that. Y'all see the title. Air Force Ones versus Top 10s. Who copied who? Nah. I got a pair of Top 10s for two reasons. For one, it's a Detroit staple. Two, I've always liked Top 10s growing up as a kid. When I couldn't afford name brand sneakers. I always liked Air Force Ones better. But it was these two shoes and uh, those old school feelers too. That look just like these. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Them old school feelers. The dope. I think we called them the dope mans back then. The dope man feelers. So it was these two and those shoes. If you had either three of these on, you, you was talking about something. But I'm here for the simple purpose of, you know, comparing these two silhouettes. I've never seen nobody else do that. You know, compare the two silhouettes because they, they look very, very similar. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think the top 10 model is Adidas number one selling silhouette. I mean, besides, you know, Yeezy right now, but like a classic sneaker, just like Air Force One is Nike's number one selling sneaker. This is the answer to that. So we're going to get off into some of the similarities, stuff like that. Um, and y'all get in the comments and let me know what came first. I don't know if the top 10 was around first or was it the Air I know Air Force One's. Came out in 82 because, uh, you know, shout out to my year. Not for sure about the top 10. But if we know which one came out first, then we'll know who copied who. So off the dump, you can see the height, the height similarity, the bill, you know, saying everything. The midsole. So in the midsole, you got the Adidas. Then you got the Air, the Air Force Ones. Let's take it to the back. As you can see there, the exact same height. Damn, the exact same. You know, the Air Force One a tad taller right there, but for the most part, the same height. Um, go to the front. Look at the toe box. Perforated holes. Air Force Ones got the little pop out stars. This isn't pop out stars, but it's some similar to that stitching pattern around. Similar. You got your tongue. Well, it would normally say Nike Air right there. And you got Adidas Top 10. These are super fire, though. I'm looking to add one more into the collection. That's the uh, the OG colorway, that white and navy blue one. I'm looking to add that to the collection, and then I'm I'm gonna be done with Adidas, and I you know try a couple other different little brands. Uh, let's see. Like I say, the side profile. You got your three stripes right there, and you got your swoosh. Now, another dead giveaway. Like to the T that these shoes are so so similar is the outsole. Check out the outsole. The little crop circle. They placed in the same spot. You got Nike. You got Adidas. The uh the treading. Pattern is a little different because this is herringbone, herringbone treading versus this treading on the bottom, but very, very similar. Very, very similar. Like I say, it really makes you wonder who copied who. Like, did, did a designer from Nike lead Nike and go to Adidas and, and make this shoe or vice versa? Like, what happened? Like, how did you know and even feel it like I said even that feel I wish I had that feeler 
You know what I'm saying? To 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 show the comparison of those two because they look very very similar. And then the same thing on the on the medial side. You know, say everything is damn near identical from the from the laces, the lacing lacing system, and everything is damn near similar. I think the Adidas, what they got, uh, what's this? Ten, ten lace holes. Air Force Ones has uh, looks like eleven. So the Air Force One has one more lace hole than the Adidas Top Ten. But other than that, everything is damn near the same with this shoe. It's just two different brands. And this is a dope lace swap on these girls, too. It's, it's black and red. Let me see. I take the flash off so y'all can see it. Okay. So you can actually see the lace swap. These came with these girls. Like, I was going to lace swap these girls anyway. But I was going to put, like, a solid red. When I opened the box and seen that these laces came with it, I said, well, shit. They gave me a choice. <laughs> don't give me a choice now nah. don't give me a choice but it's just, just a quick little video man um i want to do something different rather than just show y'all this sneaker and say yeah this is a new pickup uh, you know do a little quick comparison of it because i've always been curious about this about these two sneakers you know what i'm saying these were the two top sneakers for me back in the day like if i can get my hands on either one of these the feeler was more of a last resort but I definitely back in the day I definitely wanted those two. But um but yeah, here we go, man. It's the bread colorway of the top ten Adidas. And I just use this because they're similar colors. I could have used any other Air Force one, but like I said, just because these similar colors, I went ahead and use this one for the comparison. But let me know what y'all think, man. Like I said, I'm branching out a little bit. And um, the people that do know me know I said if I ever rocked the pair of Adidas, it would only be a top 10. I'm not I'm not getting no Yeezy 700s, Wave Runners, none of that stuff. That's not real Adidas to me. This is real Adidas right here. And like I said, I'm going to add one more. Y'all know I got the Home Alone. That was the one that uh, popped my cherry paws for the Adidas. And um, like I said, I'm looking forward to, you know, slowly but surely branching out, dipping my toe in the water a little bit and, you know, trying a couple other brands, you know what I'm saying? I love Nike to death, but, you know, they ain't bringing out no more foams and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm kind of getting bored with it. Kind of getting bored with Nike. I want to try something different for a minute, man. But let me know. Let me know y'all thoughts. man. Let me know what y'all think about the comparison. Let me know if this ever ran across your mind, too, about these two sneakers. And let me know if anybody could fact check me and let me know that. Okay, this came first, Air Force One's copy. But, oh, here, here go another little quick history lesson. Y'all know that, um, it's some people that don't know, but Jordan actually wanted to sign with Adidas and didn't want to sign with Nike. His mother forced him to take that meeting with Nike. He really wanted to sign with Adidas. And if you think about it, top tens do kind of got a Jordan 1 look. You know what I'm saying? They look like a Jordan 1. I could picture... These being the Jordan 1 for uh, Adidas, though. That's a whole other uh, topic, though. All right, YouTube fans, that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Pan82. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.